Hello and welcome to hey, We Like Your Pod. And we're going to tell you why. Hi, it's Dawn here, joined by my trusted partner, Matt Pickett, as we await the next game. How was your week, Matty? What a great week. I went to Wisconsin. I visited my my mom and my dad. They don't live together. My mom and my stepdad, my dad and my stepmom. Um, but we all got together for the Packers game, which was awesome. It was the first time I've been to Wisconsin in um, I like three and a half years, definitely pre-COVID <clears throat> last time I was there. So just to to drive into Wisconsin, you know, uh, the border where there's the welcome to Wisconsin sign, it just it, it gave me all the feels coming across the border there Aww. um the chance to like spend some some time with my um my parents you know i was awesome so my sister on the way up she lives over in lombard so like made a stop at her house to uh see her her husband my nieces and nephew hang out with them was a lot of fun um our, our kids their kids get along really well nicely so um it was it was a great trip out there and like celebrated the the packers win with spotted cow and playing many many rounds of euchre with my mom and stepdad it was a really good time so i had a great week and i'm off for this week and next week because that's what it's like when you work at university and having a great time how about you wow that sounds wonderful and i haven't been to wisconsin to see my family either since 2019 Mm -hmm. um pre pre pre-covid I, um, I too, in my business, not, uh, not that I'm currently working anymore, but I, we took off usually anywhere from four to five weeks, um, all in the rag trade, Mm -hmm. um, that, that became less and less over the years, but I always, um, considered like mid December to mid January, I'm gone. (laughs) It's like, I just check out. (laughs) I get my life reorganized. I do little projects in the house, you know, that kind of thing. And so I'm feeling that way, particularly again, and just with my habit over so many years of of having it that way. Um, I stopped traveling during the the holidays a long time ago because it was just, I just rather go when it's nice and when it's not crazy, um, you know, busiest day of the year in the airports and all that. And I had some not so great experiences. So mm. yeah, so I've been kind of just getting into that um, hibernation-ish mode and I do things, but, you know, socially, but not as much as, you know, maybe when I was younger. And I find myself a lot of times people say, hey, what are you doing? And I'll be, oh yeah, I've got plans. <laughs> <laughs> just so I don't have to explain, you know, <laughs> you don't understand that, but you're in the university system. So it makes total sense. So you would understand what I'm talking about. So I mm-hmm. uh, had a nice dinner and a little outing yesterday with a, a really good friend here that lives across from me and works. We have like work live lots here. And um, I found out he was going to be moving soon. So, but we'll stay in touch. And, Mm -hmm. but that was nice. Last night was great. We had, we have the farmer's market on Wednesdays here. Of course, it's nice out here. So that's usually when I get my grocery shopping done. Mm -hmm. And I had um, Kenyan food. It was pretty amazing stuff like coconut rice. Um, It was like a curry cabbage and something else. So yeah. Delicious. I know I ate a lot, which I've been doing a lot lately. <laughs> so yeah, so um catching up and so how are you feeling heading? Can you believe it? Week 16, game Crazy. 16. Yeah. Yeah, like when the schedule was released and it's like, and there'll be a game on Christmas. So I was like, well, that seems like forever from now. And now it's like, you know, really, really soon. It's this week. Yeah. <laughs> Make them about the game though. Uh I mean, it's funny because you listen to like Maggie Loney talk about it. You know, on Pax, she said this week they were talking about how, like, Maggie's score prediction was like, maybe I'll give the Browns 20 points on this. Packers more like 35. So it seems like it should be an easy game. But of course, there's never easy games, even with all of the people that are on the COVID list for the Browns. It's kind of ridiculous right now. We don't mm-hmm. know if uh, Miles Garrett will be in the game. It's kind of 50 50, is what the coach said today. So 
could go either way. Um, I think we can handle, you know, Miles Garrett, but obviously it's a it's a big test for the for the O line. So how am I feeling about the game? I think we'll win. I'm kind of I don't know. It's like a mixture of like being excited and being annoyed that it's on uh, Christmas because I'll be at my um, be at my in laws' house. We'll probably have like already opened presents by then. Um, yeah. yeah. But like, I'll be very interested in the game, and nobody else will. <laughs> you know, it's a Bengals yeah. house, so they'll be like, you know, kind of like, oh yeah, you want to see the Browns lose? They'll be like on my side, of course. But <laughs> it will be hard to devote the kind of attention I would want to devote to it, given that it's also a family holiday. That makes that, sense. That'll be yeah. for me. Yeah. How about you? What time is it? So is it at like in the afternoon yeah, like or, in the or evening? something like that? No, it's, it's okay. like, yeah, it's the afternoon. <clears throat> I forget yeah. the exact time, but yeah. Well, same here. It's like, I can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> the season's <laughs> almost over. I mean, we've got the playoffs, but it's going to just, we're going to be doing our, our, um, what you call it, our mock drafts pretty soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, seriously, I know, right? Before I know it. <laughs> well, last week was quite a squeaker. Uh, that was <laughs> that was a little scarier than yeah. I mean it, it seemed like everything was going to be okay and then all of a sudden what happened um so but at least we won and it doesn't matter if it was by 20 points or one point so I'm happy about that we won and so, then I got to hug my dad afterwards and that was awesome ah uh, that's so neat did you so you brought the whole family went yeah, yeah. So um, it was at my mom's house. And so my mom like basically invited my dad and, and his wife to come over and watch it with us. So yeah, we were all there in the oh, basement. We all had our snacks and everything and our, uh, <laughs> again, our spotted cow. Like... So um, yeah, no, it was awesome. I don't think I've ever had a spotted cow. I don't think they sell it out here. Anymore. You, you I mean, can only I... buy it in Wisconsin. Yeah, they don't distribute it outside of the borders. Um, oh, it's, okay. It's good. It has, a, it, it, I mean, it's not like it's the most amazing beer ever. I like it a lot. But I mm -hmm. know people who don't understand why. Like my dad thinks it's too sweet, for example. But oh, okay, on. yeah. Well, where are we at in yeah, football we season today? We're in week sixteen of the NFL. Um, I've been enjoying that. We've had football almost every day of the week. <laughs> I wish it was always that way. All right. <laughs> you know. You know. And the other thing that I've really enjoyed about it is that we don't that we have some of the local announcers announcing the games. Uh, it's not the like even tonight I don't know who it is but um it's not that and this is not on Fox tonight so they're starting to move True. away from Fox yeah but I'm really enjoying hearing local announcers all week on, on many of these games that I watch so hmm. because I think well we know how we feel about some of the <laughs> you know the ones that we hear every week you know after week and so um so we're in week 16 so I just find them refreshing you know because yeah. they have a different perspective they're they're more into they have more intimate knowledge of their teams obviously because they're covering them, so every week so NFC North is clinched <laughs> our play we have a clinch with the only team with the uh, playoff clinch that's true wow um so it's <laughs> I know it's like Very exciting <laughs> I know I know it's so honestly, it's kind of relaxing to me. It's usually I'm more nervous and I'm like, this is so great. Just cruising on, you know? It's like, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so now NFC number one is obviously Green Bay Packers, then Cowboys, Bucks, then Cardinals and Rams. And then as far as the overall league standings, that's a little different order. It's weird. Like we talked about it last week. Mm -hmm. So Green Bay Packers, number one, then Cardinals, then Cowboys, then Chiefs, then Rams. So, um, not bad considering how many of our top players are, have been missing and may not even play for the yeah. playoffs. Like yeah, it seems like it more and more, doesn't it? That the help is not coming back. Like I don't know that Bacteria is back and like, right. Um, there was um, Joe Thomas, you know, who was a famous uh, Browns, um, o lineman for years and years, Pro Bowl many years. Uh, he was a guest on Lombardi's Bar, and he was talking about like you can't just come back in as a you know as a tackle and just like plug and play. Like he has to right. shake some rust off, and so it's like you can't just put, you know, like say him and you know Jair, and I don't think Z's coming back, but you know, let's say you know any of those guys, like you can't just like yeah. put him in right in the first game of the playoffs. It's like that. <laughs> They need they need a yeah. game to get to get right, and so no. right, and no. not only that, but it's got to change the, the whole dynamic of yeah. how they have been playing. So yeah, it just yeah, but they've been doing great. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like we'd be okay, you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll be okay. With I mean, we're doing okay now. Great, so right? yeah, yeah. 
So um, not bad. Packers face the Browns at our beloved Lambeau Field on Saturday. We just discussed that. So so do you have that feeling of excitement? Or I always ask you, well, it's been a while since I've asked you this. Are you excited or are you scared? Excited. Excited. I mean, yeah. you're talking about like not feeling nervous about the team at this point because we have secured our playoff, you know, berth. It's a funny word for that berth. Um, I know. <laughs> the B-E-R, of course, you know. Um, right. And I'm nervous, though, about uh, clinching the number one seed, you know, and holding out of that. I mean, we've got it in our hands, but um, uh, the, ne- the next three games should go our way. There are three teams that were definitely better than, but, you know, crazy stuff happens. Like, you know, let's last week with uh, Tampa Bay getting shut out, you know, by the uh, by the Saints was crazy. Uh, yeah, the Cardinals losing that. to the to the uh, Lions was <laughs> insane. And awesome. oh, yeah, I that's right. That happened. Yes, that was so, so lovely. <laughs> weird, weird stuff can happen, right? I mean, I feel like we've got this, but it still makes me That's nervous, right. you know? So am I excited? Yeah. yeah. Am I nervous? Not like, cause I think we're going to lose, but just cause like, there's always the chance we could. That's yeah. That's balanced. <laughs> so what do you have for us in terms of superlatives today? Yeah. So my first one uh, was the best meme of the week. So um, there's this woman, Sam, uh, her handle is at Sam, Witch. it's two M's and two H's. Cause she's very <laughs> funny. Um, she really is. If you don't follow her, she's hilarious. Yeah, um, she's so great. she used the, the shot of MBS's oh. touchdown where he had <laughs> grabbed the pass and like extended it and had his arm down so that his mm-hmm. knees wouldn't hit the ground. It was, it was just a brilliant body control and like awareness. I mean, MBS yeah. is awesome. That, yeah. that post was so like, you know, stretched out and she used that as um, to replace uh, God in the painting, the creation of Adam by Michael Michelangelo from Sistine Chapel, a kind of famous painting of like, like, pointing and Adam, <laughs> and Adam says pointing. So um, there's MVS instead. And that I think we could do it right here. Exactly. Here we go. So it's like, it's like this kind of a, <laughs> I have to go over. Okay, we go. I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> so a little that's, awkward. <laughs> that's for the people watching the video version. So yes, on the video. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah no that made me laugh uh again sam is is just absolutely hilarious uh she's done some of the funniest like memes and stuff like that um she always yeah. does so definitely an awesome yeah. person to follow do you see that one actually don did you see that i did i did i loved it i loved it um i didn't know she had created it i i can't remember because then it was going around so much that mm-hmm. yeah it was good, that was good i saw a couple fun memes with that yeah oh. there are a few good ones um there's also one where uh like dusty had just like posted the picture of it so like you know hang it in the louvre somebody had like actually like transposed it into like the louvre and that was also pretty good so oh yeah yeah, yeah. yes that was a good one with a, with a frame yeah That's yeah exactly exactly right right well my next one that is most interesting statistics this is one from ryan schlipp aka pack daddy he's talking about uh jair versus stokes rookie seasons first 13 games because jair uh, played in 13 games in his rookie season so that's where we're going with the number and of course we're at you know 13 games now that stokes has played in mm-hmm. so um he compared all the different kind of stats lines so targets completions yards touchdowns interceptions pbus pass rating and pff grade so to to get this side by side here uh jayer had 79 targets uh stokes had 80 so very comparable number of you know targets there completions uh against them jayer 51 stokes 42 so actually a lot less Yards given up by Jair, 662 by Stokes, 507. Touchdowns given up by Jair, two by Stokes, three. So, you know, a little bit, little bit worse there, but just a tiny bit. Interceptions that uh, Jair had in his first year, uh, one, whereas uh, Stokes has had one also for passes uh, broken up. Or, yeah, it's broken up. I always think batted up in my mind. Pass is broken up. Uh, six for Jair and eight for Stokes. Pass rating against for Jair is 94, but against for Stokes is 79.5. So even better there. And very, very similar. Well, kind of similar PFF grades, I guess. Uh, Jair, six, sorry, Jair 72.4 and Eric Stokes 65.8. So some really like, I don't know. Uh, we have this idea for good reason that uh, Jair is an elite cornerback because he is. That's why we think that, right? And mm-hmm. of course, in his first year, he wasn't yet the Jair who, who he became, you know, before his injury, of course. But to see that Stokes is seemingly on track to potentially get to the point of being an elite corner like Jair is, um, Mm -hmm. is exciting, you know? So I saw that Mm -hmm. it kind of blew my mind. So like really, really interesting, um, you know, set of statistics that Ryan put out there. Um, I appreciate that he talked about it in his next episode too, you know, his uh, PacNet podcast, um, talking about 
people's reactions to it and some people like wanted to try to start a fight with them it's like these are just statistics like you can draw your own <laughs> conclusions yeah i'm not trying to make any kind of arguments i'm, not, I'm just saying 